Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Manual Linux Robot Installation Video. During this video, you will be presented with the steps taken to manually install a robot onto a Linux operating system. The installation process for version 8.2 and 8.3 is the same process. Please note that this video shows the installation process using the 8.2 installer. As a reminder, whenever you are upgrading to any CAU IM8 versions, it is important to refer to the support matrix found on the support downloads page to view the supported upgrade path. For anyone that is new to the CAU IM product, robot is CAU IM terminology for agent. Throughout this video, you will learn how to download the robot binaries, install the robot on your Linux OS, and have your Linux host appear within the CAUIM infrastructure hierarchy. We'll start by reviewing the CAUIM product documentation for a robot installation on a Linux host. First, we'll open a browser and navigate to the wiki found at docs.nimsoft.com. From here, select CA Unified Infrastructure Management. The installation guide is found under the Installing menu item. Click the plus sign to expand the menu options. Click the plus sign beside Deploy Robots. Now select Install a Unix Robot. From here, we'll access the Linux or Solaris Secondary Hub section to access additional information on using Nimsoft Loader to install the robot. Click the blue link. We'll also access information on the Nimsoft Loader flag settings using the associated link. Reviewing the flag settings, we see that the default flag settings will satisfy our requirements. The next step is to open a PuTTY session with the Linux host. This is a clean Linux host with no prior CAUIM installation. Click on the PuTTY EXE shortcut to open a session. We'll log in as the root user. Before downloading the NIM loader binaries, we'll create a target folder called CA underscore UIM and set it as the current directory. Next we'll use the wget utility to download the NIM loader binaries. In order to do so, we'll need the URL location for these binaries. To obtain the URL, open the CAUIM web administration page in our browser. Next, switch to the installers panel. Right clicking the NIM loader link will provide us with a menu option to copy the associated URL. The copy shortcut menu option will copy the required URL to the clipboard. Now that we have the URL, we'll return to the Linux host and download the NIM loader binaries. The binaries are downloaded, but we first need to uncompress and extract them before we can execute NIM loader. First, we'll uncompress them. They're now uncompressed, so we're ready to extract. Notice that a directory was created for each Unix and Linux operating system that CAUIM supports. The tar file has everything you would need to install NIM Loader for all platforms. We're working with a 64-bit Linux OS, so we'll navigate into the Linux underscore 23 underscore 64 directory. Now we'll use the change mode command to add execute permission to the NIM loader binary. We'll now run NIM loader. First we're presented with a list of IP addresses for the install target 
and we have to choose the one that the robot should bind to. This Linux host has a single IP address and we'll select it. Next, we're asked where to store temporary files. This directory will contain the installation log and any other temporary files written by the installation. We're now asked if this is a cloud installation. Typically the answer is no. If you select yes to this prompt, the Linux host will be built with empty component configuration files. This option is intended to be used by administrators that are building a standard image for servers in the cloud. In this case it would be standard Linux servers in the cloud. If you're building a standard image, you want clean configuration files on the robot, and setting this option to yes, will do that for you. Since that is not our intent, we'll accept the default answer of no. We are now asked if the installation files are available locally. They are not. The NIM loader itself is just an install utility. It's not the actual installation package. By saying no, we will be subsequently asked to provide a network location from which the installation package can be downloaded. Now we're asked if there's a host running a NIMSoft hub that can be queried for the installation file. We will respond yes. We will then enter the IP address of our primary hub. The script then asks us to confirm the domain name and hub name that is found at that IP address. The script then prompts us with the installation package that it believes is correct for our target host. It has correctly identified the Linux underscore 23 underscore 64 package, so we'll accept this value. This package refers to the version of glibc. Prior to downloading the package, we need to provide the user name and password used to authenticate with the package source. The package is now downloading to our Linux host and will prompt us for additional information before the install completes. First we're asked what we want to install, and where. We want this to be a robot only, installation. We will accept the default install location. Next we're asked whether the robot should automatically be unregistered when it goes away. This is useful for cloud environments where you have images come and go as applications dynamically support the load. In this case, you would typically not want the robot to stay in the CAUIM hierarchy and turn red when the related host image is no longer present. For robots on hosts that are expected to always be present, you would want to answer no to this prompt. We'll do so for this Linux host. Now we're asked if the robot should be installed in passive mode. Passive mode is used when the hub is blocking incoming requests on port 48002. When this is true, the new robot is not able to register with its hub automatically. When passive mode is selected, the robot must be manually added to the list of installed robots through configuration of the hub probe. The primary hub is not blocking port 48002, so the robot does not need to be installed in passive mode. We'll accept the default values for the domain and hub that we want the robot to be deployed to, and then verify the IP address of the hub. Once we've done this, the installation will continue until it's complete. Now that the installation is complete, Let's examine the CAUIM hierarchy in the admin console, and verify that the installed robot appears. We'll log in, using our administrator credentials. As you can see, the robot and probes are present. Our robot installation was successful.